everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Welcome to Super Simple Sunday. Stay tuned. my channel I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and welcome to all of my new friends welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends even if you haven't decided to subscribe to my channel I appreciate the fact that you're here supporting me right now In the previous video we used some of the Dollar Tree chopping mats to make these really cute notebooks with the frosted cover Today, I am going to show you a very quick and easy way to make inserts for your notebook. I know that you're going to love it. This is another notebook slash journal that I've been working on. I've made a few inserts. I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at this beautiful notebook that I have been working on. I think I'm going to gift this one. I'm not sure who's going to be getting it, but I think it will be a gift. So here on the front, I have my frosted cover, which is a Dollar Tree chopping mat that I cut down. Then on the inside here, I have some beautiful Prima paper that has the rose gold. And then when you turn the page, I have an insert that I've made. And I'm going to show you how to do all of these inserts in just a minute. But I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough so that you could see some of the various inserts that I'm using. This is just a scrap piece of that chopping mat I decided to turn it into just a decorative insert. And then I'll show you how we can take some more of that chopping mat and create a divider insert. So this has that tabbed look to it. And then I just have some more cut aparts that I've inserted as well as an envelope. In case you wanted to add something to yours, you can just tuck it in this pocket and you're good to go. Easy peasy, we're not going to make the notebook. We're going to focus on how to make the inserts. If you're interested in how I made the notebooks, I have that video linked below in the description box. Just make sure that you check it out. So I'm going to be adding some more inserts to this book. And this book is actually five and a half by eight. Now your insert sizes will be determined by the size of the book that you're using. As you can see now, all of my inserts are full length inserts. Some of them are actually just what I'm going to call shorties because they're shorter than the pages in the book. So I'm going to set this to the side for just a minute and show you how easy it is to make the inserts. So if you watched yesterday's video, I showed you this spacing guide for how to place your holes. Again, I'll have that video linked in the description box below so that you can go back and watch to see how I actually created this little template that will tell me how to space my holes. And basically what you're able to do if you want to punch holes in let's say a piece of the chopping mat, just put it underneath and you can punch your holes following this guide. Very easy to do. I'm actually going to use my cinch to punch my holes, but the purpose of this video is just to show you how you can make your own inserts no matter the method you use for punching your holes. You can punch your holes with a handheld punch, just like this. You just have to go one at a time. I've decided that I am going to use my cinch to punch my holes. So I have another cut apart, and this one says, in love with every minute of life. In the video where I made these, I also do a demo of the cinch. So make sure that you watch that video if you want a little bit more detail on how to set your cinch. But this is six inches long and I need all of my holes to be punched. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm putting it in like that and, and I can see that all of my holes are going to punch and then I just bring down my lever and you can see that I have holes punched from top to bottom. We're going to go ahead and just punch holes in all of our inserts. So I'm going to take my envelope, and again, I want holes punched in everything. So I have my row of holes punched in that. So then I'm going to take this insert, and my insert, I cut it at five by eight and a quarter because I wanted it to be a little bit longer than the paper, but not longer than the jacket cover of my book. So if you can see this, you can see that I have too much space on this end. 
And that's because this is eight inches long, which means I need to find my center. So I need to take this guy here and slide the four on the guide to match the center point. And so now I know when I punch, it's going to be fairly even. And there are my holes. So then I'm going to take these two pieces and I am just going to put them in. Again, I am eyeballing these smaller pieces. And you can see that I have my holes on this piece. Then I'm going to take my little cut apart. And I have my holes. So your goal is to punch holes so that they align with the book. All right, y'all, so now that we have all of our holes punched in these pieces, we can create inserts. And creating an insert from these punched holes is so simple. We're just going to take our scissors, and all I'm doing is I am cutting in between each hole. So all I'm doing here is taking the scissors and going between the holes and cutting a slit. Very, very easy. So now when I take this, let's just put it right here. And all we have to do is tuck them in like this. And y'all, this is the same way that those professional inserts that you pay money for, that you can insert into your books and your journals, it's the same process. So you can see that I have a very good grip on this. I'm going to go ahead and just take this one. And all I'm doing is making a slit in between the hole. I'm not cutting up to here. I'm simply cutting from here until I reach the hole. And then you can take these little inserts and you can put them in your book. I always forget to do that one. And you can put them in your book wherever and however you want. So we're going to take the small one. I'm going to take a flower. You can put a rub on. You can put a piece of ephemera. So much you can do with these. And I'm going to take that flower and we're just going to put it right there. That gives us a little decorative element. Then you can just find a spot in your book and punch that through. And so you can create a book where you're putting all of these little tuckables on the inside and it just makes it so much more special to the person that you're giving it to. And now I'm going to take this piece and I've cut it a little bit longer than the white paper, but shorter than the actual jacket paper. So for this one, I cut the jacket at five and a half by eight, but I cut my paper at five by eight. So that means that when I put in my little tab here, I cut this tab at eight by five and a quarter because I want it to protrude out a little bit over the paper when it's closed. So here's how we're going to turn this into like a file folder tab. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I have that piece that measures five and a quarter by eight. And on the five and a quarter inch side, I am going to score at one quarter of an inch. And then I'm just going to take my trimmer and cut away some of that mat. And then I'll take my finger blade and I'll just remove that piece. And y'all, that's how easy it is to create a little divider for your book. So now I can take this and I am just going to go through and cut into the holes just like this. 
And you can add so many wonderful little sayings to your divider here because it's see-through and it would be beautiful with a rub on on it. And then I'm just going to put that in and go ahead and punch these into place like we did the others. And then I want to take this one that we punched and I'm going to put it in behind that piece. I'm just going to take it and put it in. So now when you're looking at this, you'll see that behind it, but you can also see how this protrudes out from the paper. So that is how you make these wonderful inserts for the notebooks or the journals that we made in that video. So no matter the size of your book, if you're following the whole guide, you should be able to make these inserts in the same way that I have done. So I'm just going to do a very quick flip through so that you can get a look at my little inserts here. I have that one. Then I have an envelope. I have another divider and some nice Project Life cards on the inside. Then another envelope. And then one final four by six Project Life card. Super, super cute. And then y'all, there's the back of my book. How easy was that to do? Falls right in line with these. This is how we're able to get that upscale look that you see in the store that you might have even purchased before. We're able to get that look very inexpensively, but look at how high end our project actually looks. So I hope that you have enjoyed this fun, quick and easy way that you can make your own inserts for your notebooks. Even if you bought a pre-made notebook in the store, just figure out the whole spacing and you can use this technique for that as well. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's Super Simple Sunday video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.